is I want you to give a lot to your team around you, but the best thing that you can do for your team is to do the right thing and to win. And the more you win, the more they'll want to win, right? Okay, so I want to tell every single one of you, listen to me. The way we talk to ourselves, that's a real conversation. Remember I said you'll never out-earn your own self-worth? Like, if you don't think you're worth it, you're not going to earn it. Like, it's impossible. Like, you're kidding yourself. I see people all the time, and they're like, hey, I want to make more money. Hey, I want to do this. I'm like, no, you don't. Because if you did, you'd be doing it. Imagine this. If I told you, Josh, that I wanted to work out every day, but I wouldn't work it, work it out, then you'd be like, you're pretty stupid, dude. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You actually don't want to work out because you're not working out. Because if you did, you'd find yourself to be at the gym every day. Would you guys agree? All right, now listen to me. Raise your standards. That needs to be the conversation you have with yourself every day, all day. Raise your standards. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Do me a favor real quick. Whatever you're doing, stop right now. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, write down my cell phone number, 918-210-0254. 918 -210 Zero two five four. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you need help with, you want to go to the next level, you want to go to the next gear, you want to make more money, I don't care what it is, you need more leads, shoot me a text, let me know what I can help you with. Let's get back to the video. But the zebras were getting picked off by the lions. The lions were singling out that zebra and coordinating the attack and killing that zebra. Okay, taking it out. So it was, so it was a new fascination because then they say, that, well, the, the lions aren't necessarily going after the weakest animal. They're going after the animal that stands out, coordinating the attack as a predator and launching into that zebra and taking it out faster because they were able to single that zebra out. Well, I want to reverse engineer that for a metaphor. You work with hyenas, jokers laughing at you, mocking you for training. They're the losers. They're the 99%. We're not like them. Let's reverse engineer it. You work with a bunch of hyenas that are trying to take you out. They're trying to single you out. They're trying to pick on you. They're trying to say training's stupid. You self-invest, you're an idiot. Sales managers, GMs, and owners saying, give us the money, we'll train you. You haven't trained in 20 years, man. You look down, you can't even see your feet. You're not someone I look up to. So that's a hard thing that people have to realize is that when you're with the hyena, you become a jackal. You become like the hyena, or you keep your head down. You don't look up, you don't look around, and you don't get singled out to get taken out. Because if you have that red haunch on your back, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. They're the hyenas. You're playing in a hyena territory field and you're a single lion. That can be hard to do. You guys heard the story of Michael Jordan that every time he went out to a basketball court he played, with so much fire, so much attention, so much energy, because he thought to himself, there's somebody in this crowd who's never seen me play live before. And so if I have an off day, that is what my name will be recognized as. They will not know me as Michael Jordan the Great. They'll know me as the guy who played half the entire game, and they'll never come back and see me. They'll never come back and see me. And so your customer that you get every single day, the people that you're walking around every single day, when you're going with the gym, are you intense? Are you intentional? Are you passionate? Are people like, dude, what do you do? Like when I wake up and, I, and I'm, I'm in the gym, I'm, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! come on. My girl, she's healing it like a little bicep curls. I'm like, let's go, baby, let's go. And they're like, what? He does this. What the, what, what's the problem? He got kicked out of five Planet Fitnesses. What's the problem with this guy? What's the problem with this guy? And I'm like, dude, I'm fired up, I'm winning. They're like, what in the world? I'm like, dude, it's 5.30 in the morning. I don't care, come on, baby. I'm trying to win. And so the deal is, is I'm intentional, I'm passionate. And he was the same way. That's why he died as one of the greatest. He didn't die. Michael Jordan's still alive. Oh, who cares? He, he's gonna <laughs> die. I'm gonna say he's gonna die as one of the greatest. Who cares? I'm playing and, in the future. And I want to talk on that real quick because we always think a lot of sports analogies, like Michael Jordan, Kobe this Bryant, is, all this stuff. This is a sport. But it's the thing is, like sport. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, they're not like when they're when they're in Game Seven hitting that game winning shot. They don't wait till Game Seven to take that game winning shot. They're practicing that. They're not waiting for the fans to show up to the stadium to then like work on their game. They're doing this in the shadows. They're doing this in the dark. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it before you do that. Like the video. 
subscribe. Make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free FREE, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.